You ready, Jan? Yeah. Hey, I'm Mark and Delicato. How do you expect to find yourself a lady friend? You think all the brainy girls you like are at the bar? No. No. They're at home watching Mad Men and surfing Match.com. My father always used to say, let the game come to you. Let the game come to you. What the fuck does that mean? What does it mean to you? <laughs> Don't do this. You know that the, uh, the sports metaphors offend my delicate homosexual sensibilities. All right, enough about me. Tell me about your week. Okay. Well, I, I love this thing. When I was a kid, I got my very first camera. I took it everywhere with me. I even slept with it. And uh, in school, we had to do this project on our most important being. Kids talked about, you know, their mothers, hamsters, whatever. I talked about my camera. Who gave you that camera? Uh, I, I don't remember. But uh, here they are. You just hit the button to go to the next one. So that's this guy at the bodega on my corner. He sings to this crazy Arabic rock station. Or he's praying. I'm not really sure. Ah, that's our next door neighbor. She, she's a royal fucking bitch to my mother. And uh, last summer, I crazy glued nails outside of her garage, and she punctured three of her tires. I was particularly proud of that one. Keep going. Oh, I took that from the Brooklyn Bridge. You can see there's Lady Liberty. Looks cool with the sun like that, right? Uh, that's this bar I was at late one night. Um, that guy, that guy, he's a homo, but he's got three kids and a wife at home. And that chick, she's totally in love with him. Um, you know, that, that's nothing. Just skip right over it. So they were, um, they were both there really late. And, uh, she kept trying to talk to him. You know, she's in love with him. I just wanted to shake her and be like, Honey, he's gay. You know? Um, but, that's it. It's pretty rad, right? Which night was this? Um, Friday, I think. Uh, no. No, I think it was Saturday. It says Tuesday. Where? On the camera. Oh, this calendar's off. It's been off ever since I got it. Just, just never bothered to get it fixed. So you like the pictures? Which bar was that? Does it matter? Was it the one that Josh and Ray found? You know what your problem is? You think that all art has to be context. That's so bourgeois. Was it the one that Josh and Ray found? Yes. Did you go there last night? Yes. Did you go to school today? No. Have you ever noticed that in these uh, origin fantasies, your father is always somebody different, but your mother always stays the same? What are you talking about? Well, you have this idea of who your birth father might be. You know, sometimes he's a novelist, sometimes he's a race car driver, today he's a doctor. But your mom is always a degenerate, a crack whore. So? Just pointing it out.
Jesse? You want to hear something crazy? No. No? I'd rather we focus on you for the time being. Put it away, please. I like holding it. I think it's distracting you from concentrating on yourself. Jesse. Why don't you give me the phone? No. I like holding it. Here. Hello, is this... Is this Jesse Alfano? If it is, if this is the Jesse Alfano who was born in King's Country Hospital on December 14th, 1994, well, my name is Karen Scott, and my number is 914-666-0984, and I think I'm your birth mother. I hope you'll call me back. End of saved messages. To erase this message, press... When did you get this? Yesterday. I picked it up after school. Have you returned the call? No. Have you discussed this with anyone? No. Why are you nodding? Was I just nodding? Yeah, like, like this all makes perfect sense to you or something. I just think that it's a way that I process information, that's all. Okay. How come it's okay for you to nod when you're processing information, but if I tap my fist together, I have to be medicated? That's not the reason you're on Ritalin. It's part of it. Yeah, well, listen, you don't take it anyway, and you've made a healthy profit off of it, so quit complaining. Nice. Let's return to the voicemail. This must be like a therapist's wet dream or something. How did you feel when you heard that message? I don't know, Doc. Confused? Betrayed? Like the whole weight of the world was now resting on my slender shoulders. What did I feel? Nothing. This woman is a stranger. How did she even get my number? That's a good question. Yeah, well, I should call the phone company. Hello, Verizon, I'd like to file a complaint because you gave my fucking cell phone number to a fucking stranger. Now what the fuck am I supposed to do? What do you want to do? I don't know. Try to tell me how you're feeling. Because I think it's important for you to articulate what's going on in your head. There's nothing going on. <clears throat> I swear, there's nothing. It's just, it's just static. Static? Yeah. It happens to me sometimes. Static. Like, all these voices that I can't quite make out. Like a, like a radio station is playing far away with bad connection. Is that what's happening right now? Yeah. Sorry.